I didn't know it would say that there was a recording in progress. I thought it would just start recording, but I got to hear a little robot voice. Um, hey everyone, my name is Connor and this is our club, our organization, Students for Well-Balanced Effective Education on Drugs, otherwise known as Students for Weed. So as you guys can see on the screen, we are a student-led organization that is focusing on creating just a more effective, safe and comprehensive drug education curriculum that doesn't continue to take the abstinence only approach that so many schools and so many other like youth focused organizations have been taking for a long time. And just as an introduction, as you guys all know, my name is Connor. I'm the president of Students for Weed. And yeah, our other officers, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Um, hello, I'm Bennett, uh, I'm the vice president of Students for Weed. Um, and we, we've been working on this project for a, uh, a while. Um, so it, it's been there. Uh, and actually, something that um, you probably should have mentioned is that uh, the abstinence only approach is actually legally mandated. It's not just a choice that teachers or schools or even school districts make in terms of their curriculum, it would be against the law for them um, in the education system to talk about ways to more safely use illicit drugs. It's just against law, the law in the California Education Code. Definitely, and that's one of the things that when we get to the next slide, we'll go more in depth about really our goals as an organization. Uh, Megan, do you want to introduce yourself briefly? Hi, sorry my camera isn't on, but I am the publicist for the organization. So I just basically run the Instagram and YouTube channel. I was muted. Awesome. Um, so that's the three of us. Uh, we're going to be running this and just kind of moving on to really our goal as an organization. So as Bennett brought up, currently in the status quo in California at least, the abstinence only approach is mandated by our education system and by our laws. So pretty much for like everyone who goes through schooling in California, your introduction to substance use uh, curriculum and harm reduction is essentially just say no or other similar programs. It's basically telling you like, these things are bad, just avoid them. And it, it sounds, you know, very straightforward in theory, but at the end of the day, abstinence only education has been proven to be ineffective time and time again. And it's not just with drug use or with like drug safety, but with many other things as well. For example, we've moved away from abstinence only sex education in California because it didn't work. And it, it just hasn't, uh, it hasn't like positively benefited anybody. And especially with substance use, as you know, we have the opioid epidemic going on, as we have rising rates of overdoses in the United States and rising rates of substance addiction and dependence. What we can see is there's really a need for uh, you know, this approach that doesn't prioritize just abstinence only education, that gives people you know, an understanding of, hey, these substances aren't exactly safe, but if you're going to use them because teenagers tend to engage in risk-taking risk behavior regardless of whether or not it's allowed, if you're going to use them, here's how you can be the safest. Here's how you can you know, not jeopardize your own life or the lives of others. And here's how you could create an atmosphere that you know, won't put you or anyone else in danger. Um, Bennett, do you want to add on to that in any way? Or... Um, no, not not necessarily. And um, just to like make sure you understand, we're not a, an organization that um, like encourages drug use, um, especially for legal reasons. We, we definitely, um, like if the drug is illicit, we would uh, encourage you not to do the drug, but um, we, we know that that's not always going to be a standard that our members are going to meet, that students and uh, kids around the world are going to meet. And for those kids, uh, our primary goal is safety. And if, if, if you have, uh, for example, an addiction or you simply are a drug user, we still want you to stay safe, even if we're not encouraging uh, your habits. And so that's uh, our primary goal as students for uh, well-balanced education on drugs. We want to keep you safe. Definitely. 
And so just kind of moving forward, looking at the lesson plan, sorry, this page is a lot of text. I was editing it last night and I was like, I don't know where I would put pictures on this. So looking kind of just a lesson plan or really like what we have in mind moving forward, uh, we want to try and do monthly meetings. So for everyone who's in the Zoom, um, you know, you guys can continue to use this link. And for anybody who's watching this on the YouTube channel, uh, we will be posting our lessons pretty much as soon as we can after we uh, host, you know, the live lesson and whatnot. But as you can see, today's lesson is just the introduction. It's going to be relatively brief. We're just kind of, you know, talking about who we are, what our purposes are. And then, you know, each of the following months, we're going to be addressing a different substance or substance category and just kind of the effects it has on the human body, both physical and mental, as well as, you know, if you are going to use this, here's how you can do that, the, like the safest, here's how you could do that the most effectively so as not to endanger yourself or others. And typically the way lessons will be set up is we'll have an introduction to what this substance is, what it does, and then move into how you can, you know, if you are going to use it, how you can use it more safely. And then just kind of open it up, have a Q&A session, have, you know, a roundtable discussion for anybody who wants to take part or, you know, be a part in this ongoing dialogue. And then probably at the end, we'll have a bunch of links to various resources if you are struggling with addiction or if you are struggling with a substance use problem, as well as links to just, you know, further educational resources, um, YouTube videos, studies, papers, etc. And so as you can see, we have lessons and we're going to be running them up until June of next year. And that's when we'll have, you know, elections for the next year, kind of analyze where we as a club or as an organization want to move uh, going forward. But yeah, so we'll be posting, you know, YouTube videos online every month. And we'll always have the Zoom link open for uh, when we do these lessons. And if you want, you can follow our Instagram and we'll have like, you know, more updates and more posts about that later. And just sort of moving on, um, we have a relatively small in-person audience or not in-person, but we have a relatively small synchronous audience right now. But if there are any questions, if you guys do have, uh, you know, anything you want to know about more of who we are as a club, more about our goals or really like what we envision for the organization, um, or if or if really you just have like a question about the subject material in general, now is a great time to ask it. And we'll always have this sort of Q&A thing uh, after lessons. And they'll usually be a lot more directed because we'll have had like actual like substance and actual curriculum to talk about. But yeah, um, if anybody has questions, feel free to ask them. I have a question. Go for it. So is this club going to be purely educational or is there going to be activism involved as well? So at the moment, uh, our main goal is education because we want to kind of just get it out there since, you know, again, the vast majority of students, well, just people in general, but students especially don't have access to this sort of education. That's kind of our first and foremost goal as a club. Um, however, activism uh, in regards to this or in regards to drug policy or, you know, to changing our education system or the law surrounding that is definitely a really valuable part of, I mean, any movement, but especially this one. And so, you know, working off of that, if, if you are interested in doing any activism, you could definitely feel free to reach out to us. We would be happy to platform it or spread the word about it. Or if you're interested in looking for opportunities, we would be glad to share some with you um, and just share some like in general, we could have links to that as well at the end of meetings from now on. Okay, thank you. For sure. Anybody else? Okie dokie. So relatively short meeting. This one is more just introductory looking at who we are. Um, but thank you, thank you all for coming. Um, I do see there is a chat. My bad, I didn't see the chat messages, um, but it looks like that's been answered and addressed. So yeah, thank you all for coming. Um, for everyone who's watching this asynchronously, thank you for tuning in and watching. We will continue to be hosting meetings in the future. and We really appreciate you guys coming. If you're interested in coming or if you're interested in bringing your friends, we'd be happy to have them over. So yeah, thank you all so much.